video is all about Valentine's Day, so I have this makeup look that I think would be great for a date. It's just a very soft brown smoky eye that's really easy to achieve and then it has a pop of pink to it. And then I also picked out three outfits, one for a date, one for a girls night out, and another just casual outfit you could wear to school that's still really festive. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it. I've already applied my foundation and concealer today and as you can see I'm sporting some big old curls. And next I'm jumping right into bronzer and I like to contour my face under my cheekbones, under my jaw as well as along my forehead because my head is very round and can appear flat so this really enhances the bone structure. I always contour my nose, also using some bronzer on a small brush, and I like to slim the bridge a little bit and to find the tip. This is my personal preference, but like I always say, it's completely optional. For blush, I went festive, and I'm trying out this Rose Physicians Formula Hearts Blush. This blush is really pretty and gives a very youthful pop of pink to the cheeks and so this color looks more harmonious on the face. I'm dusting a little more blush on my forehead, nose, all over just a little bit. Finally, I'm going in with my new favorite highlighter, Soft and Gentle from MAC and I'm blending onto my cheekbones, Cupid's bow, chin and nose. Now that the skin looks fresh and glowy, of course we gotta fix our brows. And I went a little darker with my brows for this look. I'm using my favorite drugstore brow pencil by Annabelle. And first I rimmed the outline of my brows and with small flicks upwards and in the angle of my natural brow hairs, I am adding drawn in hairs to fill them out. Primer lids and the first shadow I'm using is Puppy by Stila and you can use any medium matte brown shade. I love this one because it's very velvety and easy to blend. Before the crease shadow I'm using a neutral dull pink shade and I'm blending this from the brow bone to the crease and I'm doing this so blending is easier and fades into the base shadow. Now with Quirk by MAC, which is a deeper, warmer brown, I put this right into my crease and I'm blending quite heavily. Fade this into your outer V as well and just keep on blending. I went with a tapered out, round, soft shape. Now to spice up this look, I got this really cool pigment from MAC called Fuchsia and I'm applying this all under my lash line and I'm fading it out quite a bit so the color is quite prominent underneath my eyes and to tie it together I'm applying some of the same pigment just above my crease. Moving on to liner, I chose to go with a stunningly ladylike gel liner from Sigma on a thin brush and I created a turned out wing. I'm smoothing out my line, taking my time, and I'm also adding the gel eyeliner to my waterline. This can make the eyes appear smaller, so you might want to just rim halfway or not at all, but I like the look like this because it makes my eyes look more almond shaped than round. And you can add a little gold or champagne shimmery shadow in the inner corner as well. Curl your lashes and apply mascara. I'm trying out Maybelline's new mascara and I really like it. I'm really coating my bottom lashes to draw attention to the bottom lash line and to open up the eyes. I'm not one for the chatter blinds. I've become obsessed with lashes lately and I'm using a pair of demi lashes that get thicker on the outer corners to further give me that almond eye effect and it's just really flirty and I love them. Finally for the lip, I am lining my lips with Citrine Lip Liner from NYX. I love NYX lip liners, this is so smooth and glides on and the fun pink is great for Valentine's Day. Yeah, 
After filling my lips in with this pencil, it's really not drying so it works just as a lipstick as well. And then I'm adding another NYX product. This is Cosmo Gloss and it's so eye-catching. Finally, to tie the whole look together, I went back in with the MAC pigment and blended it into the gloss. And there you have it! I see a lot of Valentine's Day looks that are very soft and neutral, and I have a lot of looks like that, so I will link some other options in the down bar, but I think this is really pretty and different, and it's one of my favorite looks. I love this first outfit for going out with your girlfriends. It's different than your classic little black dress, and it's super festive with the bright red. This gorgeous statement necklace is from shoprouge.com, paired with this bandage style crop top from Windsor. And I just tripped, but I'm recovering by blowing a kiss, and the heels I tripped over are from Aldo. These high-waisted pants are from Lulu's and I love them. They look great on the booty and the bright red is great for Valentine's Day. And to match the look and keep my phone and lip gloss, I have this gold clutch also from Lulu's. This cozy white sweater is from Windsor and has super cute sequin hearts for elbow pads. I'm wearing heel boots because I wear some form of heels always to give me some height, but for school you can tone it down with a flat. To top it off, I have this gorgeous necklace from Bruch, and Burke was making me giggle probably because he was making fun of my posing skills. This final outfit is perfect for a dancer date, and this off-the-shoulder dress is from Lulu's. I love the cut of it and the deep red. For a fun twist, I have on these funky heels by Jessica Simpson, and I also got these from Lulu's, and to match the geometric pattern on the shoes, I added an edgy necklace from Forever 21. I was having too much fun in this flower shop, and again I threw on my white coat with an edgy over-the-shoulder bag. watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and also let me know what you're doing for valentine's day in the comments down below i'm having a little festive sleepover with my friends so if you'd like to see a vlog of that i can do that i think that would be a fun vlog and all of the products and the outfits are all listed in the down bar as well as my social media links so check it out and i'll see you guys next time as well as this and also what was Lame. <laughs> <laughs>